Hello everyone and welcome to Philly Crypto Trading Plus. Today is the 5th of April and we we're excited today. We've got a lot of good things to tell you. Are you confused by all this price volatility? Are you wondering where prices will be next? Well, look no further because you're definitely in the right place. I'm here to solve these problems for you by providing clear, concise, and competent technical analysis. In today's tutorial, we're going to be analyzing Litecoin and specifically its movement that which we called and we told you absolutely so specifically we're going to talk about symmetrical triangle and how it's broken out we're going to talk about the MACD the um, uh, simple moving averages the uh, money flow RSI semi parallel channel and also my next targets make sure you stick around the internet. you definitely don't want to miss that and Fibonacci extensions okay now I want to, uh, before we get into the video, guys, please be sure to smash that like button because it lets YouTube know that you're enjoying the content and it makes a huge difference to me and my channel. Always appreciate that. Also, I'm always trying to improve my videos and give you the best content I can. So please let me know what you like about my content in the comments below and I'll be sure to do more of it. Now, let's get into today's lesson. First of all, I want to show you this here. This is just another look here how we could actually look. This is probably a little better. We see here a symmetrical triangle. And by the way, if you're not in my trade room, you should be. A lot of good nuggets in there. I say that because I talked about this two days ago, I think. And I said that the prices were tightening up. And I probably said it right around here. And then bang, what do you know? Okay, guys. I've been doing this for 36 years. I'm not bragging. I'm saying I'm here to help you. So, that in mind, we've now broken out of the triangle. Right? So, where do we go from here? Well, let's see. We talked about my targets before. And, and I put them right here for you. We, remember, I put it here, if you remember my last video. If you didn't, go back and watch it. But, now it broke out here. So, that would mean our target would put us where? Hmm. 301? Hmm. 300. Yeah, we did talk about that. Right. I'm being sarcastic. I'm joking, guys, because listen, I'm trying to help you guys. I've been doing this all day long. This is not surprising to me. This is very predictable. And that's what you guys are here for. Okay? So, that in mind, I want to show you a couple things. The MACD, again, guys, is on a daily time frame. Look at the MACD. I told you before about this pop right here. This is where we talked about, and I did the videos, and I said, well, you know, we don't expect the pullback. Don't be surprised, and then we go. And then the next one I said, well, it's predicted. Guys, come on. Then what happened? We had the crossover, the RSI move up, and now the RSI is 64. Four, yeah. So now the money flow, same thing, guys. I've been doing this a long time. I'm not bragging, but this is why you're here. So now we've broken out of the triangle, right? So where do we go? Well, we'll cover that in a second. But just another look at a. We had a parallel channel that was forming, right? Which I want to point out to you here: the upper line, the lower line, and. I've always said to you guys that when we are out of an ascending parallel channel, if we're above it, we're probably going to correct to come back down. So if you're above a parallel ascending channel, you better be paying close attention, if you're a trader, of course, to the topping motion that usually occurs. And if you're below the ascending parallel triangle, want to pay attention because that's a great opportunity to buy something because had you noticed this right where I told you the 172 173 area before if you don't believe me go back and watch my videos the guys who've been paying attention to my channel they definitely know this right so nice move I told you before with this descending wedge right Falling wedge, whatever I'm going to call it. When it came out of there, that would have been my buy point. Right there, right in the 180s, right? Now, I by the way, I have to laugh for a second, but 
I'm not here to um, this um, to disperse on anybody else's channel, but I happen to notice one that said, "Well, you know, um, we're going to come back to one and three and be a buy." Well, guess what? This is what happened right here, guys. Never happened. So how wonderful it is that you understand these charts and these movements and all these illustrations that you point out. But if it doesn't come back to there and you told people to buy it, that's basically did not happen. A, no one participated. And B, no one's making any money. That might be important, right? Exactly. But what we want to notice is our 50-day si simple moving average, 196.94. Look at that perfect bounce right off of there, right? And then the 20 come down and rolling and flattening, right? Well, that cross there, but we don't care because we look at all the other factors to gain um, an overall opinion because you can't look at any one or two things. So you can see this, and now, of course, it's moving up. So, so, but so the 50, bang, we're out of the ascending parallel, we're back into the ascending parallel triangle, right? But more importantly, the apex of our triangle has been busted. So where do we go next? Well, I don't know. Um, upper levels, yeah. Let's um, let's show you a, a couple more quick things here on the daily time frame. Here's the MACD again. You knew right here was flattening. There's the cross. And here we are. And now we've broken out. Mm, what a shocker. Guys, I'm being sarcastic because I've been doing this for so long, man. I'm here to help you. All right. Now, let's see if there's anything I want to... Um, yes. Fibonacci extensions. Okay. We already see this. We already talked about this. Right? Great illustration there. But let's just get to this. Okay. Fibonacci extension. Trend-based. Okay, two, we, we bottomed out in the um, the 190s. I mentioned that a couple days ago in our trade room that our trade range was tightening because I could see what was happening. And sure enough, right after that, look what happened. Ow. Good guys. Again, I'm not bragging. I've been doing this a long time. Now, most importantly, we went through our 204, which was our 0.382 Fibonacci extension, right? I bought it. I bought it last night, guys. I, I made very good money. And, and you know what? Let me comment about that for a second, guys. I entered four trades last night around one o'clock in the morning, and in twelve hours, I was out of three of the four, and I made about two hundred fifty percent return on my money. I'm not bragging. I'm trying to point out, guys, that this information is very important and very valuable for you. I'm not saying this to toot my horn, to pat myself on the back. I'm, again, the goal of my channel is education, I'm trying to get you guys to understand and gain your cooperation in allowing me to help you learn this, okay? So, 204.42, see that? Boom, next bar, we're right up on the daily bar, of course. Now, the 0.5 fib extension, 220.29, okay? So, we're above there right now. Well, we're hoping to see... You can see this little. Um, in fact, let me let me point this out to you real quick, guys. Okay, right here. This is important to notice. Okay, all right. A little bit of resistance there, right? But in the 225 area. However, with some good volume, we should blow right through that because remember what we talked about before. And remember the parameters of this triangle. That being said, now that we bust, I, I moved this off to the side because you wouldn't be able to see it. But look, guys, this says, this is, by the way, this is a line what we have drawn, right? We took it from here to here because the higher low parameters of our symmetrical triangle. And then we moved it over to here. If anybody doesn't know, Go back and look at my old video. You'll see that the last one. So now we just simply move this over because we busted a little sooner, which I kind of suspected. And so our this tells you that 300, right? 
So our one Fibonacci extension, 287.53, but this parameters of this triangle says 300. So, guys, we're, we're getting started. We're getting stronger. Okay, a lot of things have moved nice. While we're talking, Litecoin is over 225. I told you this was coming. Okay, I'm not trying to go on like a broken record. Here's another situation where you can see. See how it busted through there? What a nice breakout that is. But you can also see from the, uh, this is a Fibonacci retracement from the pullbacks before. 0.236 pullback is happens to be 224.92, which is ex basically where we're at right now. So we'll look to see if we can't form some sort of a consolidation here. Just like we said here, above here would be we'd be good, and then you know we're looking to go to the next levels. Um, I want to again on a four-hour time frame, very clearly illustrated. Right, guys? If there's any questions, make sure you put them in the comments below. All right. Now um, I want to go back. And I want to talk about what we think. Now, guys, if you haven't joined the Trade Beam yet, it's one of the best bargains you're ever going to see. You want to go back and look at that. We, me and my administrator, Dan, who's wonderful, just as capable as I am, um, we have talked in the last three or four days about, I don't know, 25, 30 coins. Guys, this is just a pittance compared to all the things we cover, the coins that we talk about. A lot of them are up. Actually, most of them, of course. And we even, again, Bitcoin Cash, if you haven't seen that video, guys, go back and look at it. It's run very nicely, I think, 635. And I think I've even just literally said um, 675 to 7's next. That's, but but I told you about that when it was in the 5's, guys, about two, three weeks ago. Go back and look at these videos, guys, because I'm here to help you. This is what I do. I've got over 35 years' experience doing this. So does Dan, my administrator, guys. Um, it, it, uh, some of the new members in the room, it, I would certainly appreciate. Let them know what you see, what you like, what you think, what your opinion is, because it's important to the new members and new people coming on the channel watching the videos because they don't know me from Adam. Okay, they need to know who we are and what we do because remember, guys, I've started this over 35 years, and I'm not being braggart. What I'm saying is that means that anything you study over 35 years, you tend to be in the top 10 percentile of what it is that you do. So that common sense would tell you that means that there are 90 percent of the percentile out there that don't understand this and don't know this. So I'm asking you all to please like, share, share, share and subscribe because there are 90% of the population out there that needs this information, wants this information, and can make money from this information. You see what's going on in the economy right now. They're shutting this down, that, and I don't like to get political right here, although I have a lot to say, but I'm not going to do it here. The fact is, look, in, in this environment, the, all these people need to make money more than usual. So why not share this information? Why not help them? Because this is, you're not doing it for me, guys. You're doing it for them. So please remember that when I ask you to like, share, and subscribe. Now, guys, I want to turn this video over to you. And I want to ask you, uh, what is it that you um, found the most value out of in this video? Okay? Let me know what you've learned. Please, in the comments below, mention that. Because it it's important to me to know how to help you better. Okay? So, let me know what I can do to help you better. And please make sure to subscribe, like, and share, like I said, so you don't miss out on future videos. Also, the more subscribers that we get, the better and more content I can continue making. So again, please like, share, share, and subscribe. Now, if you want to learn more, please be sure to watch this next video.